uh, I left Cambridge in 2016 and immediately went to work in finance for two years. I worked in capital raising, um, so raising large amounts of institutional money from sovereign wealth funds or banks or multi-managers and uh, trying to convince them to invest in the asset managers that we represented. Um, it's a really interesting experience, but um, at the same time, I was given a lot of um, unpaid leave to go on uh, climbing expeditions that I was leading um, to climb unclimbed mountains and new routes on uh, remote peaks around the world, um, which was really cool. Um, all paid for by um, sponsorship and grants, um, which is really exciting. That's something that I was doing even before I came to university. Um, so um, I was able in that job to uh, fulfill that, but decided after about two years that finance in the long run wasn't what I wanted to do. So um, signed up to join the army. Um, and then in September 2018, I went to Sandhurst for a year and then after Sandhurst I joined an armoured infantry battalion called One Royal Welsh and um, I did my further training in infantry and armour um, in Brecon and Warminster and then I'm now as of March have been um, qualified. Um, I went in thinking that probably the whole experience would be a bit more lame than I'd previously expected um, which is yeah uh, I was probably just being arrogant more than anything else. Um, I had assumed that everyone would be very bookish and uh, not particularly fun, but actually found pretty much the opposite. Um, there were some phenomenally inspirational and effective people there who got a huge amount done um, and were also really good fun. And um, I definitely wouldn't change it for anything. Well, realistically, the answer to that is uh, I had a few very major climbing expeditions that had absolutely nothing to do with my time at Cambridge. But in terms of within term time, um, I really enjoyed um, taking um, a couple of University of Cambridge climbing trips um, to Scotland and to the Alps uh, and to the Peak District. Really enjoyed doing that. And then Work-wise, I had some unbelievably interesting one-on-one um, -on -one, um, tutorials, supervisions that, I mean, it's quite hard to put your, sort of your finger on exactly which one was particularly interesting or inspiring, but the fact that you had the capability to speak on a chosen subject one-on-one -on -one with that subject matter ex, uh, specialist was really really good um, and I think probably that is the singularly most important thing that I've taken from my time at Cambridge um, the one-on-one -on -one supervisions because they largely were one-on-one -on -one, were just really really good I really enjoyed um, I had a coursework um, I did a coursework uh, module in my second year um, based on literature and well, I, I particularly enjoyed the the focus on crime and punishment by Dostoevsky that really was I found that really interesting uh, it's one that sticks out and I really enjoyed the philosophy throughout the course um, and the supervisions I had on Kant in particular and Hegel I thought were really really interesting pretty niche but <laughs> personally I really enjoyed it ironically one of the best things about Cambridge is the fact that they give you longer holidays than pretty much everyone else so I think you're working off about 24 weeks worth of terms three eight week terms and then everything else is fair game so um whilst I, before i went to cambridge i went on an expedition to tajikistan and then i was straight before i joined and then when i was at cambridge i went on an expedition to kyrgyzstan kazakhstan and then i went back to tajikistan um, to climb uh, i climbed an unclimbed 5,000 meter peak and i climbed a few 7,000 meter peaks as well um, went on a number of trips to the Alps and uh, led a number of trips for the university actually to Scotland, um, which was really, really good. Good question. Um, so I, I think you can kind of split it into two parts. I mean, there's the skills that I actually learned and developed and honed whilst doing theology that 
have helped me in a more general sense. And of those, I think particularly the one-on-one -on -one supervisions um, drove a kind of academic confidence whereby you feel like you can put up a good account for yourself, you can put a good um, point of view forward. And um, maybe even more importantly than that, you don't get grounded in your way of thinking and you, um, you quickly learn to um, see that other, other ways are almost always better. Um, and someone else normally has a much better approach than you and trying to use that and adapt your approach, I thought has been really valuable. Um, it was valuable in my job in finance and it's been particularly useful um, actually since joining the army. Um, so, and also kind of uh, performing academically uh, and intellectually under some degree of pressure because at points it does feel fairly high pressure um, particularly coming into exam season everyone gets a little bit worked up so um, being able to get the most out of yourself intellectually um, in a pressured environment is really good not to say that the pressure was unsustainable um, so that was the skills and then in terms of actually having a theology degree to be honest having any degree from Cambridge regardless of what it is um, is kind of rightly or wrongly I found it to be a, a, it's almost like a, a seal of approval that you you're intelligent and people um, even though you have this piece of paper um, do seem to take you a little bit more seriously um, just because of the prestige of the university um, the subject itself, for me, theology was just what I really enjoyed doing. Uh, it always seemed a bit of a no-brainer that I studied theology. Um, so that was, yeah, that was why I did theology. I'm not sure at any stage in finance someone said, you know what, I'm really glad that you've learned so much about Thomas Aquinas, but that's not really the point. Um, I think the skills you learn and the ability to digest huge amounts of information and work out what's important is was really important in finance. And then I think possibly the only thing that I learned that was of actual practical value has been the ethical approach, which has been really useful um, in the army when it comes to um, approaching the ethical side of um, action really um, so having some tools available to do that has been helpful um, but um, don't rule yourself out um, I think it's really easy to do before you go you always just assume that everyone else there is going to be far more intelligent than you um, and that actually you, you I don't know I was really bad for looking at all the statistics for all the different colleges and you just think the chances of actually getting in are pretty slim um, you've only got a chance of getting in if you actually put yourself forward, so you may as well do that. Um, I thought theology as a course was fantastic because it was really wide ranging. I generally sucked at the theology modules um, and did fairly poorly at them. I just didn't really, um, as in the pure theology modules, the kind of the ones that focus on the Bible or other religious texts. I was much better at literature and philosophy and the fact that, uh, and actually the philosophy of science um, as well and, and the ethical side of things. Um, and I found that the broadness of the course enabled me to look at the areas that I thought were most interesting was really, really valuable. So, and I thought that the course at Cambridge, I don't know if it's changed, um, it's probably pretty much exactly the same. Um, I thought that was really particularly good out of all the other courses that I looked at, um, at enabling that. And in fact, everywhere else that I applied, I applied for philosophy and theology. Um, whereas at Cambridge, I just applied for philosophy because, uh, for theology, because um, I thought it was sufficiently broad that it would um, allow me to look at all the areas I wanted to. I, I definitely think there's value in it. Um, I was far too lazy in my first year to really get the most out of the whole process. So I was not nearly diligent enough to um, apply myself um, and really get the most out of the, the process. I think, I, think, I think it really does have value. Um, I was slightly upset that you couldn't do Latin because I thought that studying, um, studying Latin would have been particularly good um, because of the, uh, well, the Vulgate really. Um, but, um, I did Greek 
um, which I did enjoy. Um, it was a, it was a new experience. Uh, and it was definitely challenging. I'm not sure I would have chosen it to begin with if I had the choice, but retrospectively, I think if I went back and did it again today, I would. I think, I think the big one for me, my big takeaway from studying theology at Cambridge and seeing friends who study theology elsewhere and also friends who studied other degrees elsewhere is that um, the one-on-one -on -one supervisions you get mean that your quality of teaching is just completely unrivaled. Um, you do produce, you do have to produce a lot more work as a result of that, but the work genuinely isn't that isn't so bad. Um, and as someone, I, I, to be honest, I think at university, I didn't meet almost anyone who had more extracurricular activities than me. I managed to do so much else whilst at university and the work really doesn't have to take over. Um, it doesn't have to be um, all that bad. And um, you get so much time out of term anyway, that um, really, it's just a little bit more compressed um, and I really, really enjoyed the, the whole experience and look back very fondly.